Now for our awards program. Our first section is photos. And our first category within the section is general news photo. In division S, second place goes to Al Drago for March for Our Lives. And first place goes to Caitlin Newman shooting for the Baltimore Banner, Banner for Baltimore Ceasefire 365. In Division O, second place goes to Danielle Gaines of Maryland Matters, and first place goes to the Baltimore Brew, J.M. Giordano, for those guys that robbed me, the police came after the fact. In Division F, second place goes to Rebecca Jones of Seaford Star, and first place to Jeff Bill of the Catonsville Times for Snow Days. In Division E, Butch Comgus of Coastal Point wins second prize, and Nick Roth of Cape Gazette wins first for Bird's Eye View of Bridge Work. In Division D, Matt Button of the Aegis sweeps the category, winning both first and second place. Congratulations, Matt. In Division C, Tom McCall of the Star Democrat wins second prize, and Brian Krista of Carroll County Times wins first prize, for Ninja Challenge. In Division B, Paul Gillespie of the Capitol wins second place, and Katina Zentz of the Frederick News Post wins first for Mom's Welcome. In Division A, Jerry Jackson wins second prize for the Baltimore Sun, and his colleague Kim Hairston wins first prize for Mervo Student Funeral. Our next category is Breaking News Photo. In Division O, the prize goes to Danielle Gaines of Maryland Matters for Candidate Filing Deadline Creates Last Second Drama. In Division F, Jeffrey Bill of the Catonsville Time wins second prize, and Mike Detmer of the Dorchester Star wins first prize for Heavy Hail. In Division C, second prize goes to John Smith of Cumberland Times, and Dylan Slagle, shooting for the Carroll County Times, wins first prize. In Division B, Rick Duggan of the Frederick News Post wins second prize, and Paul Gillespie of the Capitol snags first for Gaithersburg plane crash. In Division A, Carl Merton Farron wins second prize for the Baltimore Sun, and his colleague, Jerry Jackson, wins first prize for three firefighters killed. Our next category is Feature Photo. In Division S, in Division S, Scott Serio sweeps the category, winning both first and second prize. In Division O, Marcus Dieterle of Baltimore Fishbowl wins second prize, and his colleague John Sisk wins first. In Division F, Josh Shannon of the Newark Post wins second place, and Jeffrey Bill of Catonsville Times wins first place for Ariel Snow. In Division E, Butch Comgies of Coastal Point sweeps the category, winning both first and second prize. In Division D, Dave Harp of Bay Journal wins second place, and Matt Button wins first place for the Aegis with Feels Like Spring. In Division C, Ken Nolan of Cumberland Times News wins second place, and Tom McCall wins first prize for the Star Democrat with the Easton Carnival. In Division B, Katina Zentz of the Frederick News Post wins second prize, and her colleague Rick Duggan wins first prize for Slide Skeptic. In Division A, Benjamin Chambers of the News Journal wins second place, and Kenneth Lamb of the Baltimore Sun wins first for John Waters Fan. Our next category is Photo Series. In Division S, Scott Serio wins first prize for Reads Across America. In Division O, first prize goes to J.M. Giordano and Fern Shen of the Baltimore Brew. In Division F, Mike McClure sweeps the category for two different publications. Seaford Star wins second prize and 
Laurel Star first for Bulldogs win second straight championship. In Division E, Ronald MacArthur of Cape Gazette wins both first and second prizes. Congratulations to Ron. We have another sweep in Division D. Matt Button of the Aegis wins both first and second prize. Congratulations, Matt. In Division C, Natalie Jones wins second prize for the Star Democrat, and Brian Krista wins first prize for free reign on behalf of the Carroll County Times. In Division B, Katina Nen, excuse me, Katina Zentz from the Frederick News Post wins second prize, and Paul Gillespie of the Capitol wins first prize for Mobile Prayer RV. In Division A, Benjamin Chambers sweeps the category for the News Journal, winning both first and second prizes. Congratulations, Benjamin. Our next category is Best Photo Gallery. In Division S, Scott and Karina Sirio win second prize, and Scott alone win, wins first prize for Power Wheels Derby. In Division O, Carl Schmidt sweeps the category for the Baltimore Fish Bowl, winning both first and second prizes. In Division F, Mackenzie Brady wins second prize for Kent County News, and the staff of the Catonsville Times wins first place for Pictures of the Year. Dan Cook of Cape Gazette wins second prize for Division E, and the staff of the Howard County Times takes home first prize for their pictures of the year. In Division D, Towson Times staff wins second prize, and Matt Button and Brian Krista join forces for the Aegis to win first prize. In Division C, Lauren Roberts of the Daily Times wins second prize, and the team at the Carroll County Times, made up of Brian Krista, Jeffrey Bill, and Dylan Slagle, wins first prize for pictures of the year. In Division B, first prize goes to the team at the Capitol, this time made up of Paul Gillespie, Brian Krista, and Jeffrey Bill, and they win first for their pictures of the year. And in Division A, second prize goes to the photo staff, first and second prize goes to the photo staff, and first um, was for their the Baltimore Sun pictures of the year. Our next category is Sports Photo Action. And in Division S, Scott Serio sweeps the category, winning both first and second prize. In Division F, Mike Detmer of the Dorchester Star wins second prize, and Lynn Schofer of the Seaford Star wins first for Slam Dunk. In Division E, Dan Cook of Cape Gazette wins second prize, and Butch Comgus of Coastal Point wins first prize. In Division D, Matt Button of the Aegis wins second, and his colleague Brian Krista snags first prize for softball celebration. In Division C, Dylan Slagle of the Carroll County Times wins second prize, and Lauren Roberts brings it home for the Daily Times winning first prize. In Division B, Jeffrey Bill of the Capitol wins second prize, and his colleague Paul Gillespie wins first for jumping for yards. In Division A, the Baltimore Sun sweeps the category. Carl Merton Farron wins second prize, and his colleague Kenneth Lamb takes home first for safe. Our next category is Sports Photo Feature. In Division S, Scott Serio sweeps the category again, winning first and second prize. In Division F, Mike McClure of Laurel Star wins first prize for Wildcats win the conference title. In Division E, Coastal Point takes a sweep. Butch Comgus wins both first and second prize. In Division D, Matt Button wins second prize for the Aegis, and his colleague, Brian Krista, wins first. In Division C, Tom McCall of the Star Democrat wins second prize, and Brian Krista of the Carroll County Times takes home first for Mavericks win. 
In Division B, Jeffrey Bill of the Capitol wins second prize, while his colleague, Paul Gillespie, wins first for Army Beats Navy. And in Division A, Jerry Jackson of the Baltimore Sun wins second prize, and his colleague, Carl Merton Farron, wins first for championship coach. We now switch to our next section, which is online. Within this category, our, or within the section, our first category is general social media reporting. In Division S, Krishna Sharma and Alyssa Zhu, writing for the Baltimore Banner, take home second prize, and Krishna Sharma alone takes first for Baltimore Pistachio Tide. In Division A, Sonia Academy and Christina Tasek of the Baltimore Sun win second prize, and their colleagues, Sonia again, along with Jerry Jackson and Scott Dance, take home first. In the breaking news social media category, we have in Division S, Krishna Sharma winning first prize for the Baltimore Banner, and in Division F, Angie Price and Natalie Jones bring home first prize for the Dorchester Star for fight breaks out after murder sentencing. In Division A, Sonia Kamadi, Mary Carol McCauley, and Lillian Reed bring home second prize for the Baltimore Sun, and Sonia, along with colleagues Lee Sanderlin and Leah Skein of the Baltimore Sun, win first prize. Our next category is Best Use of Interactive Media. In Division S, Nick Thiem sweeps the category, winning both first and second prize. In Division O, Hannah Zakarenko of the Capital News Service Wire wins second prize, and Matthew Wynn and Kyle Russo, also of Capital News Service, win first prize. In Division F, Aria Brent of the Afro wins first prize for Afro Cooking Live. In Division C, Brian Sears, writing for the Daily Record, wins second prize, and Sloan Brown, his colleague, takes home first. In Division B, Jillian Atzlek and Jack Hogan take home second prize for the Frederick News Post, and Jillian alone takes home first for a look back at the race between MC Keegan Ayer and Jasmine Ticola. Congratulations. And in Division A, the Baltimore Sun sweeps the category with the staff winning second prize and Amy Davis and Steve Early winning first prize for Seeing the Unseen. Our next category is online blog commentary. In Division C, Brian Sears takes home first prize for the Daily Record for the Eye on Annapolis blog. And now we come to our Website of General Excellence Award. A panel of judges visited the nominated websites and evaluated according to the following criteria, social media and engagement, local news coverage, ease of navigation and design, multimedia visualization, and mobile responsive design. Let's see our first and second place winners in, this, in these categories. In Division O, Capital News, News Service wins second place, and Susan Dunn of Baltimore Fishbowl wins first. In Division F, Sabrina Gonzalez of Delaware Business Times snags second, and the staff of the Newark Post wins first prize. In Division D, Catholic Review wins first. And in Division A, the staff of the Baltimore Sun wins second prize, and the staff of the News Journal wins first prize for Delaware Online. We'll be announcing the overall winner of Website of General Excellence at our in-person celebration on Friday, May 5th. Our next section is video. Our first category within the section is general news photo, news video, excuse me. In Division O, J.J. Atchison of the Baynet brings home first prize for Local Hero Saves Man. In Division C, Lauren Roberts of the Daily Times 
takes first prize for a look at the Bioenergy DevCo facility. In Division A, Kevin Richardson takes home second prize for the Baltimore Sun, and Carl Merton Farron and Lloyd Fox of the Baltimore Sun win first prize for Baltimore Sun Media Prince in Sun Park for last time. In our spot news video, the winners are for Division C, Lauren Roberts of the Daily Times for Salisbury Makes Video to Cheer on Jay Copeland. In Division A, Kevin Richardson takes it home for the Baltimore Sun for Adnan Syed is released from prison. Our features video is the next category. In Division F, Kevin Peck, Francis Tony Draper, and Courtney Alexander win first prize for the Afro. In Division E, Chris Flood of Cape Gazette takes home first prize for Mike Mixon. In Division D, Jeremy Cox of Bay Journal takes home first prize for A Fish Defies Climate Change. In Division C, Lauren Roberts of the Daily Times wins second prize and Sloan Brown of the Daily Record wins first prize for Off the Record. In Division A, Kevin Richardson wins first prize for the Baltimore Sun for Black Crab Pickers Recall Their Legacy. And in Division S, Sue Kopenkatsev wins first and second prize. She wins first for preserving African-American and maritime traditions in a small Maryland town. And in Division O, Capital News Service sweeps the category, winning both first and second prizes. Our next category is sports video. In Division O, J.J. Ackeson of the Baynet wins first prize for Hollywood Celeb Fest. In Division D, Kevin Parks of the Catholic Review wins first prize for Sports Saturdays in Instagram. And in Division C, Lauren Roberts of the Daily Times wins first prize for slam dunks to three-pointers. And in Division A, Kevin Richardson does it again, sweeping the category for the Baltimore Sun, winning both first and second prize. Our next category is editorial or blog video. Lauren Roberts of the Daily Times brings home first prize in Division C. Our next category is special event video. And again, Lauren is on fire. She brings home first prize in Division C for the Daily Times. And Kevin Richardson again does it, sweeping the category for the Baltimore Sun, winning both first and second prize in Division A. Our next section is commentary. And our first category is editorial. In Division F, Jake Owens of Delaware Business Times wins first prize for Is Carney the Last of His Kind? In Division E, Darren McCann wins second prize for the Coastal Point, and the staff of Washington Jewish Week wins first prize for Psalm for a Dark Year. In Division D, Randy McRoberts of the Aegis wins first prize. And in Division C, Jonathan Carter of the Star Democrat wins first prize for encouraging a healthy discussion. In Division B, Brooks DeBose of the Capitol wins second prize, and Jack Murphy, writing for the Frederick News Post, wins first prize. And in Division A, Peter Jensen of the Baltimore Sun wins second prize, and his colleague, Trisha Bishop, wins first. Editorial cartoon is our next category, and the winner in Division F is Kofi Tias, sweeping the category for the Afro. Congratulations, Kofi. Our next category is local column, critical thinking. In Division S, Leslie Streeter wins first prize. And in Division O, Josh Kurtz of Maryland Matters wins second, and David Plimmer of the Baltimore Brew wins first prize. 
In Division F, Tony Windsor of Seaford Star wins second, and Joanna Sullivan for the Baltimore Business Journal wins first prize. In Division E, Darren McCann of Coastal Point wins second place, and Len Lazarak, excuse me, Len Lazarek, writing for Business Monthly, wins first prize. In Division B, Andy Schatz of the Frederick News Post wins second, and Tim Rowland of the Herald Mail wins first prize. In Division A, Dan Rodericks for the Baltimore Sun wins second prize, and his colleague, Michelle Deal Zimmerman, wins first. Our next category is Local Column, Feature, or Humor. In Division S, Leslie Gray Streeter, writing for the Baltimore Banner, wins second prize, and her colleague, Pam Wood, wins first. In Division O, Alana Davis of Maryland Matters wins second prize, and Marion Winnick of the Baltimore Fishbowl wins first prize. In Division F, Tony Windsor sweeps the category, winning both first and second prize for the Seaford Star. In Division E, Susan Canfora of Coastal Point wins second prize, and her colleague Karen McGill wins first. In Division D, George Matzik Jr. sweeps the category for the Catholic Review, winning both first and second prize. Congratulations, George. In Division C, Carl Hamilton of Cecil Wig wins first prize. And in Division B, Kushbu Rathor and Clara Neal of the Frederick News Post win second prize, and Tammy Baker of the Herald Mail wins first. Congratulations. In Division A, Peter Jensen of the Baltimore Sun wins second prize, and Dan Rodericks, also of the Baltimore Sun, wins first. Our next section is features. Our first category is Feature Story Profile. In Division S, Alyssa Zhu wins second prize, and Tim Prudenti, writing for the Baltimore Banner, wins first. In Division O, Karen Nitkin of Baltimore Fishbowl wins second prize, and Zach Hill of the Baynet wins first. In Division F, Katie Tabling of the Delaware Business Times wins second place, and Melody Simmons, writing for the Baltimore Business Journal, places first. In Division E, Daniel Cernovich and Caitlin Lyons, writing for the Washington Business Journal, win second prize, and Karen McGill of Coastal Point wins first place. Congratulations. In Division D, Maria Morales, wins second prize for the Aegis, and George Matzik Jr. wins first prize for the Catholic Review. In Division C, Olivia Menzola and Lauren Roberts win second prize for the Daily Times, and Megan Locke, excuse me, Megan Locke of the Star Democrat wins first prize. In Division B, Brian Jeffries, writing for the Capitol, wins second place, and Dana Monroe wins first prize for the Capitol. In Division A, the Baltimore Sun sweeps the, cast, the category, with Darcy Costello winning second prize and Christine Condon placing first. Our next category is Feature Story Non-Profile. In Division S, Julie Sharper wins second prize, and John John Williams IV wins first. In Division O, Caitlin Peets, writing for MoCo 360, which was formerly Bethesda Beat, wins second prize, and Abby Zimzardi, Zimardi, excuse me, of Capital News Service Wire wins first prize. In Division F, Josh Shannon of the Newark Post wins second prize, and Carly Milligan places first for the Baltimore Business Journal. In Division E, Ron MacArthur wins second prize for the Cape Gazette, and Karen McGill wins first prize for Coastal Point. 
George Matzik sweeps Division D for the Catholic Review, winning both first and second place. In Division C, Natalie Jones wins second prize for the Star Democrat, and Matthew Korfhage of the Daily Times wins first place. In Division B, Angela Roberts places second for the Frederick News Post, and Rebecca Ritzel places first for the Capitol. In Division A, John John Williams, then writing for the Baltimore Sun, places second, and Hayes Gardner places first for the Baltimore Sun. Our next category is Features Driven Multimedia Storytelling. Second place in Division S goes to Brenna Smith, and first goes to her colleagues at the Baltimore Banner, Ryan Little and Ben Conarg. In Division D, Jeremy Cox wins first prize for the Bay Journal. And in Division C, Lauren Roberts places second for the Daily Times, and then she comes back at, at it again, winning first prize along with colleagues Olivia Menzola and Cole Johnson again for the Daily Times. In Division B, Julie Green of the Herald Mail places first for welding class at Hagerstown Community College. Congratulations. And in Division A, Amy Davis wins second prize for The Sun and Damian Giletto of the News Journal, Journal wins first. Our next category is series. In Division O, Fern Shen and Mark Ruder of the Baltimore Brew place first for Community Anger. In Division F, the staff of the Baltimore Business Journal places first for Downtown Rising. Division C, the staff of the Delaware State News takes home second place, and Tim Mastro and Craig Anderson, also of Delaware State News, take home first prize. In Division A, Isabel Hughes of the News Journal places second, and Patricia Tellerico and Esteban Para, also of the News Journal, place first. Congratulations. Our next category is headline. In Division O, Karen and David Nitkin win second prize for Baltimore Fishbowl, and they come at it again, that dynamic duo placing first for all shucks. This young man is a natural at serving up fresh oysters. In Division F, Carly Milligan places second for the Baltimore Business Journal, and Mike McClure snags first place for the Seaford Star for Holy Costumed Characters, Batman. In Division E, Ron MacArthur wins second prize for Cape Gazette, and his colleague Aaron Mushrush places first for Serve Pro is Lowe's number one for the number two business. In Division D, Kevin Parks of the Catholic Review wins first prize for Show Me the Honey. In Division C, Natalie Jones of the Star Democrat places second, and Beth Skinner of Delaware State News places first for Lemonade, profits from Smyrna Brothers Juice Stand Benefit Food Bank. In Division B, Dwight Weingarten and Joe Denlin of the Herald Mail place second, and the staff of the Frederick News Post places first for Eat, Drink, and Be Married. And in Division A, Andy Noble of the Baltimore Sun wins for Look Mime, No Feed. Our next section is Sports. Sports Story is our first category in this section. In Division O, Ed Guntz wins second prize for Baltimore Fishbowl, and Tony Siergelio wins first prize for the Baynet. In Division F, Mike McClure sweeps the category for Laurel Star, winning both first and second prize. In Division E, Ted Black wins second prize for Southern Maryland News, and Jacob Steinberg of Howard County Times wins first prize. In Division D, Todd Karpovich wins second prize for the Catholic Review, and Jerry Jackson, also writing for the Catholic Review, wins first prize. 
In Division C, Craig Horrellman wins second prize for Delaware State News, and Alec Branch of the Daily Times takes home first prize. In Division B, John Cannon of the Frederick News Post wins second prize, and Greg Swadek, his colleague, wins first. In Division A, Andy Costa wins second prize for the Baltimore Sun, and Nathan Ruiz, also from the Sun, wins first prize. Our next category is Sports Feature Story. In Division S, Jacob Baumgart wins first prize. In Division O, Karuga Coinage of Baltimore Fishbowl wins second prize, and Josh Kaza of Capital News Service Wire wins first. In Division F, Holden Weiland, writing for the Baltimore Business Journal, wins second prize, and Josh Shannon of the Newark Post wins first. In Division E, Mike Stern of Coastal Point sweeps the category, winning both first and second prize. In Division D, Adam Zilanka of the Catholic Review wins second prize, and Jerry Jackson, his colleague, wins first. In Division C, Alex Reichwalski of Cumberland Times wins second prize, and Alec Branch wins first for the Daily Times. In Division B, Alexander Dacey of the Frederick News Post wins second prize, and Bill Wagner of the Capitol wins first. And in Division A, Kevin Tresolini wins second prize for the News Journal, and Hayes Gardner wins first for the Baltimore Sun. Our next category is Multimedia Storytelling, Sports. In Division O, Matthew Wynn wins first prize for the Capital News Service. And in Division C, Kyle Bennett and Alex Rykowski win second place for the Cumberland Times, and Anthony Meluso of Carroll County Times wins first prize. In Division B, Andy Mason wins second prize for the Herald Mail, and Paul Gillespie wins first prize on behalf of the Capitol. And in Division A, Steve Early and Carl Merton Farron win second prize for the Baltimore Sun, and Kevin Tresolini of the News Journal wins first. And our next category is Sports Column. In Division F, Mike McClure of Seaford Star wins second prize, and John Busby of the Newark Post wins first. In Division E, Darren McCann sweeps this category for Coastal Point, winning both first and second prize. Congratulations, Darren. In Division C, Andy Walter of Delaware State News wins second prize, and Alex Reichwalski of Cumberland Times wins first. In Division B, Josh Smith of the Frederick News Post takes home second prize, and Bob Parasoliti of Herald Mail wins first. And in Division A, Mike Preston sweeps the category for the Baltimore Sun, winning both first and second prize. Congratulations. And congratulations to all of our winners today. As you may remember, our first and second place winners are being announced through YouTube all this week, and our best of show winners will be announced live and in person, along with our recap of first and second place winners at MDDC's annual conference on Friday, May 5th in Annapolis. I hope to see you there, and we'll see you tomorrow for our final tour de force of News and Beat Reporting Award winners. Thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow.